Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to increase the size of the font in the output that is produced by SPSS by default. Uh, you've probably noticed yourself that the uh, output tends to be very small, so I'll give you an example of what the default is in SPSS. So here I'm just doing a regular one-way ANOVA. I'll click on some options, get descriptives, homogeneity, and uh, let's just say Brown Forsyth for fun. Uh, click on OK and you'll get something like, uh, well in fact you'll get exactly like this, uh, where you have very tiny numbers and if you spend a lot of time uh, with SPSS you'll find this quite aggravating actually, uh, especially if you spend hours uh, working on this. So the question is how can you increase the font size in the output for SPSS into something that's actually more appropriate? Well it turns out the answer is very easy. Go into Edit, Options, and system default is as uh, would not come as a surprise the default which is the small font but if you scroll down you'll find an option called large font and click apply and I'm gonna redo the same analysis to show you the comparison between the output so I'm gonna do the same uh, one-way ANOVA click on OK and here's the size of the output I get now. Look how much bigger that is. This is something you can actually work with and read uh, rather than something as tiny as this. Uh, I find this should be the default. It's not. Now the upshot with changing uh, the options in the pivot table tab here and going to large font is that when you click apply it'll actually be uh, the default in the sense that when you reopen SPSS it will continue to produce output in the large font so you don't actually have to go back into the options and change it. It'll be, uh, it'll continue to do so uh, until you change it back to something else. That's a little tip to increase the font size permanently in the output into something that's more appropriate. Catch you next time.